Steadfast, 2 Thessalonians, coming to the end of uh, this beautiful, brief letter. And there are some things that are um, very pointed that are being said at the end, and especially in this passage, just we've been looking at as, as a church, at Grace Church of Orange, about the obedient church and how the obedient church, and this is 2 Thessalonians 3, 6 to 15, we saw in verses 6 to 10, the obedient church keeps the command of God, even if it's not easy or comfortable. And one of the command was to stay away from those that are idle and that are causing trouble in the church, which is such a, that's a tough thing for us to hear and to practice. And then we saw in verses 11 and 12, uh, the obedient church uh, doing something else. And I, and I want to just remind us. We hear that some walk in idleness, not busy at work, but busy bodies. Now such persons we command and encourage in the Lord Jesus to do their work quietly and earn their own living. And this idea of, of um, correction to someone who's unruly, like to their face. Sometimes we want to go behind someone's back, right? And just talk about something. It's the easiest path of least resistance and it, it ruins our souls and it messes up fellowship. But to correct the unruly directly, it says, now such persons we command and encourage in the Lord. Work hard. Live as a Christian. Let your profession of faith be lived out in your work. And then this coming Sunday, we're going to be coming up on verses 13 to 15. And this really caps it off. It really brings it together. It really unifies the whole section. And it's about the obedient church loving the family. Let me just read these verses. As for you, brothers... Brothers and sisters, brethren, do not grow weary in doing good. If anyone does not obey what we say in this letter, take note of that person and have nothing to do with him, that he may be ashamed. Do not regard him as an enemy, but warn him as a brother. This Sunday we're going to see quite clearly how we are to love our family in Christ.